if you open up when you download and install Zara and open it up this is the screen that you first see when you open it up and I'm going to give you a quick tour of the screen here so you'll feel a little comfortable with it right now there's just a pull down menu that says file and help but if you go over to the right and open the design gallery you can see that there's a section there with it which allows you to get ex sample templates and if you take the sample template or I better yet take the web template and drag it onto the screen you'll see that you have the first page of a website here this is just one style that Zara offers and while there are many styles we're going to just use this one to show you the features of Zara across the top is a typical pull down menu and underneath that is sort of a typical set of icons you, these should be familiar to most of you underneath that is another application bar which allows you to see different features that change as you select different, I, uh, different icons on the left. If you select the text tool, for example, the bar changes to the typical word processing text tools such as font, font size, bold, italics, underline, center, left, right alignment, and so forth. If you change it to another option on the left, this here, this specific one is the shadow tool, it changes again as you can see. Down below is the color bar and the color bar allows you to change the theme colors. You'll notice the theme color here is sort of a red and orange, maybe an autumn theme you might say. If you open up the page um, layout gallery, and hit the push pin up top there. The push pin will allow you to leave that open instead of having it disappear. You'll notice there are a number of pages in there already and these pages are the typical web pages of home, products, uh, store, news, gallery, contact, blog and about. So um, we have a full set of pages that make up an actual website and because Zara um, is so user friendly it allows you to make a change on one page in the theme color for example and have that change flow through to the other pages and you'll see that in just a minute. Zara's attempt is to create a piece of software that's directed at non-coders and non-graphic designers. So you don't need to know HTML and as a matter of fact Zara doesn't even allow you to get directly to the HTML in their program. After you've produced a web page you can of course get to the HTML in the web page that's produced but Zara's objective is to give you as they say a product which allows you to create what you want without having to know HTML we're changing the palette of color one here and you can see as we drag the slider bar that not only does the top page change but all the pages on the right hand side that are part of this project change and you can change this theme color one and just for the sake of this example let's just change it to this sort of greenish hue and we can actually fine tune it by using the color dragger there and lighten or darken it up and as we do you'll notice that it changes all the pages to the right. So we've changed that. The second thing we can do is change the second color which is uh, in this case sort of the flowers in the background and we change that and that changes all of them on the right hand side. We can close this and save it and it will leave that color scheme 